time, we ask everybody to join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. The deck, oh! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, oh! bow your heads and join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly approach you in prayer, recognizing you as our creator, recognizing you as the, the giver of life, the giver of love, the giver of every good and perfect gift. Lord, we approach you in prayer, thankful for uh, this wonderful day. We're thankful for all the blessings that you've provided for each and every one of us. And we're especially thankful for this opportunity to be here uh, with our friends and our family, uh, although virtual, but to be here together to celebrate this occasion, this moment of graduation for these recruits. We are thankful for them. We are thankful for their dedication and their effort that has brought them to this point, their uh, choice to make this profession their career. We're thankful for uh, their hard work and their commitment that has brought them to this point. We ask that you bless them and their families as they begin uh, serving their community. Lord, we're also thankful for uh, the great many instructors who have helped guide these uh, men to this point. We're thankful uh, for them, their dedication, their commitment to them. Lord, we ask that you uh, watch over this assembly, that you bless this assembly, bless this ceremony, and help us always look to you for wisdom, for instruction, for guidance, for an example of how we are to uh, conduct our everyday lives. Watch over us the remainder of this uh, ceremony and the remainder of our lives. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Firefighter Boyd, for the invocation. Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Terry Gresham. I'm the Battalion Chief on the Wichita Fire Department. Uh, on behalf of the City of Wichita and the men and women of the Wichita Fire Department, we welcome you to the Winter 2020 Recruit Painting Ceremony. We would like to recognize the Honorable Judge Jennifer Jones, who has joined us today. We would also like to thank all family and friends who are joining us online for this ceremony and for your continued support for these probationary firefighters through these unprecedented times. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Chief of the Wichita Fire Department, Chief Tammy Stone. Good afternoon. I too thank you for joining us this afternoon, um, but more importantly, um, I want to uh, today, or this afternoon is about these seven recruits that sit in front of me, um, because they're going to pass today from recruit status into probationary firefighter status and be one step closer to their ultimate goal of becoming a, a Wichita firefighter. And we hold these ceremonies because we believe in their abilities to perform at the next level. This ceremony is a reward for all your hard work that you put in, your dedication, your discipline, and the sacrifices that you've made, you and your families, because we understand that family is a huge portion of you being here today. This ceremony provides us an opportunity to instill motivation, to inspire you, and to perpetuate the department's values of service and excellence in your, in, in your every action. So there's four things I'm going to leave you with today as you journey through this next year to becoming a Wichita firefighter. And the first one is that you need to remember that you're a Wichita firefighter at all times. And you represent not only this department, but the community at all times. And so we talk about being off duty. You know, your schedule is 24 hours, 24 hours assigned to a station and the 48 hours away from a station. And that's what it is, you're away from a station. But when you're away from a station, you're still a firefighter. And your neighbors, in your community, and everyone around you knows that you're a firefighter. And they hold you to completely different standards. So at all times, you're a Wichita firefighter. You're very fortunate to be a Wichita firefighter. And it's very important that you give back to the community and to set examples to the community and to, your, and to the youth of the community and your friends and to your family. 
And people are going to hold you to different standards, and they're going to look at you in a different prism. So um, some of the things that the normal community can get away with, not using turn signals, um, cutting people off as you're driving, those things you're not going to be able to get away with because you're held to completely different standards. The third thing is that you're responsible for yourself and you're accountable, not only to just this department, but also to the community. As a department, we're very forgiving um, and we're very understanding, but the community standards are completely different for you. They don't have that same forgiving and understanding because they have higher expectations of you. The fire service has long, has been long in tradition. And one of our most sacred traditions is brotherhood. Firefighters don't just watch out for themselves. It's now your responsibility to watch out for your fellow firefighter. It's your responsibility to reach out when they're about to make the wrong move or make a bad decision. And the last thing that I'm gonna leave you with, the fourth thing, is that the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. So what do you want your legacy to be? Our character determines our choices our choices determine our reputation, and our reputation determines our legacy. The truth is that all of us know what the right thing to do is. The hard part to it is doing the right thing at all times. The goal of the Wichita Fire Department is always to be on the front page of social media and to, to reflect this department in a positive community. We never want to be in the social media or on the front page for a bad decision. So do the right thing for the right reasons. Make that tough decision. Your accomplishments through recruit class have landed you here today, but you could not have obtained that goal without the commitment and sacrifice from your recruit instructors, your numerous other WFD members, the training staff, support staff, the chiefs, but most important, like I said earlier, your family. Each of these individuals play a significant role and made sacrifices to help you get here today. One of the greatest privileges I have as being the fire chief is to serve this nation with the finest firefighters. You'll now become part of them. It takes a collective effort to be successful in this challenging profession, and our team continually achieves the desired results with the highest of quality. As you journey through this year of opportunity, honing your specific skill sets, your hard work will earn you a unique and prestigious opportunity to be a Wichita firefighter. This year is an opportunity that will bring new responsibilities. Yes, you've completed recruit class, but you're just beginning to learn. You need to embrace education. You need to embrace every opportunity, whether you're assigned to a station on a 24-hour shift or whether you're away from a station. There's so many things for you to learn because when people die on 911, they want help. And we never know what that 911 call is going to bring. You never know what you're going to encounter. They don't have anybody else to call, so who did they call? They called the fire department. So you're going to go out on a tremendous amount of calls in which you probably have, it'll be your first time being exposed to it, and they expect you to get it fixed for them. So your entire life's going to change. More is going to be expected of you. More is going to be demanded of you. You're going to have hired standards that you have to live up to. However, I know that your recruit instructors in this department have prepared you to encounter and to embrace and to conquer anything that you face. So I leave you with these words from Luke chapter 12, verse 48. To whom much is given, much is expected. So congratulations, and I look forward to you putting a yellow helmet on your head in, in, uh, in 10 months from now. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Snow. At this time, we'll begin our pinning ceremony. Probationary Firefighter Adamson. Firefighter Adamson is assigned to Station 1 on the C shift. Firefighter Adamson, time and time again, showed his passion for the job with his tireless work ethic and never quit attitude.
Stationary Firefighter Berryman. Firefighter Berryman is assigned to Station 13 on the sea shift. Firefighter Berryman served five years at the Pawnee City Fire Department before joining the Wichita Fire Department. His experience there proved to help him in this class on multiple occasions. Probationary Firefighter Eck. Firefighter Eck is assigned Station 2 on the C shift. Firefighter Eck is one of the leaders and motivators of this class. Many times he would help support and back up other classmates when they would struggle with evolutions. Probationary Firefighter Elliot. Firefighter Elliot is assigned to Station 15 on the B shift. Firefighter Elliot joined the Wichita Fire Department after serving three years of Sedgwick County Fire. His experience with them served well to help him excel in this class. Probationary Firefighter Jackson. Firefighter Jackson is assigned to Station 12 on the B shift. Firefighter Jackson would not let anything slow him down during this class. Many times you could find Firefighter Jackson trying to find ways to improve his skill set throughout the class time. Probationary Firefighter Knoll. Firefighter Knoll is assigned to Station 13 on the B shift. Firefighter Knoll has grown in this class not only with his own skill set, but with his ability to think through problems and focus on good technique when it comes to fire ground operations. Probationary Firefighter Tuttle. Firefighter Tuttle is assigned to Station 19 on the C shift. Firefighter Tuttle is the youngest member of the class, but not, not let that affect him. Numerous times, he would be seen working with others and trying to help other classmates with issues and techniques from different skill stations. At this time, will the Honorable Judge Jones please come to the stage for the oath of office. Gentlemen, would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, 
do solemnly affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America and the State of Kansas, the ordinances of the City of Wichita, and policies and procedures of the Wichita Fire Department. I will faithfully and impartially serve our city and this community with integrity, with integrity pride, pride, and without waiver. I will put those who call upon this department before myself and my beliefs. I will loyally discharge my duties as a Wichita firefighter to the best of my skills and abilities, so help me God. Congratulations, gentlemen. Class about faith. I present to you the winter 2020 probationary firefighters. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like Firefighter Kyle Boyd, to come up, Kyle Boyd to come up for the benediction, please. Please bow with me. 
Heavenly Father, we again humbly approach you in prayer, thankful for uh, this wonderful occasion, this, this moment of achievement and happiness. Lord, we pray as we close this afternoon that you be with the ones who have graduated, that you watch over them and give them the strength and the courage that only you can provide. We ask that you give them the, the knowledge to make good decisions, the wisdom to act on what they've learned to be right. Lord, we're so thankful for uh, these men and their choice to live a life of servitude, and we pray that they can always have that humble disposition of a servant, that heart of sacrifice, and that they can always look to your son as the true example of the ultimate example of what it means to serve, of what it means to put others first. Lord, please watch over us, uh, guide and direct our hearts for your service. Forgive us when we fail you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. At this time, this concludes our pending ceremony. We'd like to thank the Honorable Judge Jones and all friends and family who are watching online. Wow, so that's it, Sean.